What's up guys, Commander Alex here, and today we are going to be talking about solo queue. So today I want to give you guys three different tips that I think are really just three things that you have to keep in mind when playing in solo queue, and it should hopefully help you to improve your game. So first things first, let's talk about team comps. Now I think team comps are probably one of the most underrated things that decide a game's outcome, and that's probably just because people play the characters that they want to play, and they don't really think about how they synergize with the other characters on their team. So first thing you have to think about is getting a balanced team as far as attack, damage, and support. So you're most likely going to want to have at least one AD carry, at least one tank, and then at least one warrior. Obviously you can't switch that out for a assassin or possibly even another AD carry, but you definitely want to have some sort of support, some sort of tank, and some sort of attack damage on your team so that you can do some damage, take some damage, and really just be a well-rounded team. You never see three laners going out and winning because it's just not enough defense. And you never see Arden, Catherine, and Adagio going out and winning because it's just not enough attack damage. So basically, you just have to balance your team and make sure that you have all the different aspects of a good team within your own team comp. Now moving on, we also have to think about how the abilities of each character synergize with each other. So if you have Arden on your team, you're probably going to want to pick up characters who have a lot of AoE alts and a lot of AoE abilities. That's going to mean Adagio, Scarf, Petal, really anyone who can do AoE damage and lots of it because if you can do a ton of AoE damage and make sure that they can't get away from it, you're going to be blowing up their whole team and they're not going to be able to do a thing about it. So moving on from there, we also have to think about your mindset inside of the game. So I know a lot of times you're playing a game and the enemy may be doing something that you don't quite understand, you don't know what it is, and you probably just think that they're being dumb. They might be running circles around the map or they might just be sitting behind their turret. For all you know, you think they're AFK, but you have to understand that they might be trying to do something. You have to always assume that the enemy has a plan and that you just don't know what it is. So that means that if someone's farming way deep into your jungle, you can assume that they're alone. But you have to always keep in the back of your mind that they might have a teammate or two sitting in the bush next to them and they're just waiting for some little dude to come up to them and to get completely blown up by their teammates. So you really just have to always have all the possibilities in the back of your head and you have to judge all of your movements based on that. And you can never think that an enemy is just being dumb. You always have to assume that they have some sort of plan that you just don't understand. And then finally, we have to think about your mindset as far as going into the game. Obviously, you want to win in Vainglory. That's just the end game that you always want to get. But you're not always going to win, and you have to not blame it on enemy teammates, or your own teammates for that matter. You can't get angry at them, because if you do, you're not only going to make the game worse for yourself, but you're going to make it worse for your teammates. If you blame it on your teammates and you go AFK 15 minutes into the game, you're going to lose no matter what. You're going to lose just because your team's down a character, and it's 15 minutes into the game, and the enemy team's going to be able to blow you guys up in team fights. But beyond that, you're also going to be put in a queue that's going to make it harder for you to get matched with teammates who are actually good at the game. If you guys don't know, the game runs off of karma when it comes to matching low elo players together and a high, elo, high elo players for that matter. But basically, it just means that if you have a low amount of karma, then you're going to get matched with other people with a low amount of karma. And that means that you have probably either abandoned some matches or you're just very new to the game and the game doesn't know if you're really, really solid and always stay through all of your matches. So basically, you want to keep that karma and you want to keep gaining it because the more karma you have, the less AFKs you're going to get. And for the most part, that's what makes people mad in the game. As long as people put forth their most and best effort, you really just can't be mad at them, even if they're not that great at the game. So hopefully these tips did help you guys. If they did, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscription, and comment, Lieutenant, today, and I will talk to you guys in the next video.